An intense moment of musical magic interrupted by an iPhone, a ringtone that just kept ringing and ringing. And it happened the other night at the New York Philharmonic. CBS 2's Tony Aiello spoke with a conductor who made the shocking decision to just stop the show. This ringtone was going on and on and on, and it was the, actually the loudest thing in the hall. It was the iPhone interruption the maestro will always remember. There was so much tension, and there was such a stunned feeling, I think for everybody in the room, but certainly for the musician. Tuesday night at Lincoln Center, as Alan Gilbert led the Philharmonic in the mournful final movement of Mahler's Ninth Symphony, an iPhone started ringing in the front row. And it just kept ringing. Wall Street Journal reporter Jennifer Maloney was seated nearby. Audience members started shaking their heads, sort of clucking, um, craning their necks to see who it is. But it keeps going and going and going and going. That is the iPhone marimba ringtone. Mahler didn't compose for marimba. It got to the point where Gilbert couldn't ignore it. And something had to be done. So we had to stop the music. You lose your bearings and you have to sort of orient yourself. And um, that's how it felt to me. It's like, okay, what do we do? We have to finish this piece somehow. Meanwhile, the audience was going nuts. They were shouting and they were jeering and saying, throw him out. The audience was really angry. Finally, the guy switched off the phone and Gilbert got back to the music. So we usually grin and bear it and just say, okay, that's the, that's the price of living in the, you know, the cell phone age. Um, but there was just no way we could go on. Gilbert can only hope this musical interlude never makes an encore. At Lincoln Center, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Talk about ruining the show, huh? I saw the Gershwin's Porgy and Bess last night. Yeah. Happened twice. Did it really? Oh, just one. You see the person. It, 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 and it happens on Broadway all mm -hmm. the time. Okay, the iPhone owner called the conductor today to apologize, saying he got the phone as a gift and simply had no idea how to turn it off. And he's with us here right now. Let's go to him. <laughs> Lonnie Quinn here with his exclusive forecast.